Hello, and welcome to part two of this PowerPoint tutorial video series from prekpages.com. I'm Vanessa Levin, and today we're going to learn how to add text to your PowerPoint newsletter or calendar templates. So here we are in my classroom newsletter file and let's try to add some text to one of the newsletters. There is an example page right here um, with just some suggestions of things that you might put in your newsletter. This is just an example so therefore no editing is available on this page. So here let's go down to the September template and I'm going to click inside the box and when the box has dashed lines like this that means it's ready for you to type so I'm going to type some text in this box so here I've typed in my text right here in this box if I would like to move the text around a little bit I can click on the outside of the box until all the lines are solid and then I can move the text up and down and again I can highlight that text and I can change the font to any font that I like and I can also change that font size so here is the font and here is the size of the font so you decide what works best for you also up here is where you're going to type your contact information. Um, this way parents always have your contact information fresh and in front of them every week. So you click inside the box and you type in your contact information right here. So this template here just as a reminder, the only thing you can change about the template is the text. The heading up here is set, all the box sizes are set, and the clip art is set. And the reason for this is because the terms of the graphic artist state that they must be flattened into a file and therefore not able to be extracted and used by a third party. So that is the reason why the template is for editing text only and the other portions are not editable. So now we know how to add text to our newsletter PowerPoint template. Next, we're going to learn how to print just certain pages from your document. This is by far one of the most frequently asked questions I receive about the newsletter and calendar templates. So we're going to learn how to easily print just one page. So now I have my September newsletter completed and I would like to print just this page here that I just added all the text to. However, my document has 42 pages. The good news is that you can print just one of those pages. I'm going to up here to the top. I'm going to select print. And your interface might look a little different right here depending on what type of printer you have. But generally speaking, you're going to look for the place where you can indicate the slide number. So over here in the sidebar, I see that the newsletter that I just made and edited is slide number eight. So I'm going to type the number eight right there. Now when I click print or OK, it will just print page 8. Now it might print in color or it might print in black and white depending on how you have your printer set. So I'm going to check my properties because I don't want to print it in color, I just want it in black and white. So over here I have my choice right here of color or black and white. If you want black and white you choose black grayscale. Click OK and then OK again to print your document. So now you know how to print just one page of your newsletter. Another frequently asked question about the newsletter and calendar files 
is how to save ads. Generally speaking, a lot of people don't realize that if they don't save as, that they're saving to the original template. So it's important as you make changes to save as. So we're going to learn how to do that to make your life easier. So here we are in my classroom calendars file. And let's scroll down to September. And you'll notice that you have two options. You have a monthly calendar with seven days or a monthly calendar with five days. You choose the calendar that best meets your needs. And again, just like the newsletter file, the only thing you're able to edit on the page is the text. You're not able to edit the header up here at the top. You're not able to edit the size of the boxes but you can edit the text where it says type text here. And once again, when you click inside the box and the little lines are dashed, that means it's ready for editing. And if you click on the outside of the box and the lines are solid, you can move that text around. So let's edit some text here. And let's pretend that we've got everything in our template just the way we want it. We've edited every box and we're ready to go. Again, you could just print this one page using those directions I showed you in the newsletter file. Or you may want to just save this. Maybe you're going to use it every year. So you just want to save this one page. And you can easily do that by deleting all of the other slides and then saving as. So you just delete the slide that you don't want. Delete all the slides that you don't want. Just keep deleting until all you have left is this one. And then you go to the top and you hit save as. And then a dialog box will come up and you're going to name it something very easy to remember that you'll be able to find quickly next year, such as. September 13. And next year, when you open September 13, you'll save it as September 14 and so on. So you can save just one page by deleting all the other slides except the one you want and then renaming it and saving it as a new name. Now, I don't really want to do that, so I'm going to hit cancel. So I hope that you now understand how to save each calendar individually. Some of you may want to know how to convert your file to a PDF, which stands for Portable Document Format. Saving as a PDF is a convenient way to send these calendars or newsletters to your parents via email. If you send just the slide to them, they would have to have PowerPoint in order to open it. But if it's in PDF, it doesn't matter if they have a Mac or a PC or if they're using their smartphone, they can still open the PDF file. So this is a question I'm asked often and I'm going to show you how to do it quickly and easily. So here we are back at my September calendar and I have deleted all the other slides except this one and I've saved it as September 13. And now I can save it in PDF format. And on my computer I have Acrobat so I'm just going to click create PDF and it will create the PDF for me. Now you might not have PDF on your computer so if that's the case, you're going to go to cutepdf.com and there you can download for free the Cute PDF Writer. Once it's installed, when you go to print, it will show up as an option. So once you install Cute PDF Writer and you're in the file that you'd like to save as a PDF, you go to File and save as and then cute PDF will be an option there 
then you can save as to the location of your choice. So now we've learned how to add text to our newsletters and our calendars. We've learned how to print only certain pages. We've learned how to save as, and we've also learned how to save our files in PDF. I hope that information allows you to edit your newsletter and calendar templates easily. Thanks for watching and have a great day.